friends, it is December 11th, it's in the evening. I am sitting by my spinning wheel in my jammies. <laughs> um, my uh, daughter and my husband went to the grocery store, which means I get the house to myself. So I've just been kind of tidying up a little bit. The weekend always makes a mess of the house, so today I spent the day just cleaning, doing dishes, um, finishing up the decorating, and now the bins are packed away. Um, tomorrow night I have a Christmas party I'm going to for my husband's work. And I'm just kind of taking the time this evening for, I know I probably have about a half hour or so in the peacefulness. I have all of the Christmas lights on. My dog, I don't know if you can hear, she's chewing her bully stick. That's what the clunking is. So I'm sitting at my spinning wheel because I'm trying to fill up this bobbin. The reason I'm trying to fill up this bobbin is because I got some new fiber. It was sent to me as a gift by one of my friends. Look, do you recognize this? It's the lighting's dim, so I don't know how well it's gonna show up. How pretty it is. Can you see the sparkle? Isn't it so beautiful? Don't I have special friends? <laughs> it was just so nice. Things have been a little rough lately and I spent today just kind of trying to put myself back together, get calm, and just kind of get ready for the rest of the week. And then this package arrives in the mail. Isn't that pretty? This has, it's kind of hard to tell, but it has really pretty bright reds and this beautiful green, deep Christmassy green going through it with yellow in there that makes me think of like the Christmas star and it has some really fun deep greens and limey greens in there and some beautiful bright reds. Ooh, I think I'll uncurl it. So this is gonna be fun. Oh. It just... Okay, there I go, getting all weepy again. But it just... It was just such a special treat to get in the mail, so. Thank you, you know who you are. <laughs> okay, so that's why I'm sitting here is I'm trying to fill up my bobbin. I'm almost there with the, um, with the fiber I have on it there for my lace. And I'm going to start spinning the Christmas yarn. I'm so excited about that. So I'm trying to get this done so I can start spinning this fiber up right away. Ooh, I think I need to like look up patterns on Ravelry. I think I'll either do a hat or a cowl. I guess it depends on how it turns out. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Excited about that. So I'm gonna finish this bobbin up and then do a little tidying and uh, see where that takes me. And tomorrow I will hopefully resume back to filming. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow, but uh, when you get this, it'll only be a couple seconds. See you soon.
Okey do and that old Scrooge. Firewood, fireplace, sugar plum, jingle bells, and scents, little helpers too. Christmas is just around the corner. Coming up.
it's December the 12th, and this is episode uh, seven. I've lost track. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to my husband's work Christmas party. So I have my hair in a braid. I'll take that out tonight so my hair will be all wavy. Um, so let's see, what should we talk about? So you saw in the video that I picked out some charms for a project that I was winding up. And I talked about this project in Vlogtober and the yarn I bought from Simply Serving a little over a month ago in this beautiful green and red. If you're interested in the information, if you go to my Ravelry page, which is linked down below, it has all of my projects lined out with the colors that I'm using and the needle sizes. You can go to my Ravelry page and it should have everything on the under my projects. So I'm going to be doing, I believe it's called the Stocking Stuffer Cowl. And I'll put a picture right here. It is really pretty. And I'm doing these muted vintagey colors. So because it's going to have that vintagey old world Christmas, Christmassy vibe, I picked out some stitch markers that I thought were very, I don't know, classic. I'm not sure when I'm going to get that started, but it's ready to go for when I'm ready. If you're working on any Christmas projects, I would love to know. Could you uh, let me know in the comments? I'd really like that. It's fun to know what other people are working on while I'm working on things. I love making videos so much is because I get to connect with new people who love this who love the same things I do. And uh, you all are starting to become friends. When you make comments, when you message me and I get to talk to you and just connect with you on a creative level and sometimes a personal level it's really special to me and because I don't have that in my um, immediate in-person social surroundings it's really nice to be able to have that outlet to connect with people so that's why I do these videos is because it gives me this sense of community and I don't have a ton of viewers, but the viewers I do have are really special and so friendly and so kind and so loving and um, I'm just thankful for you guys. <laughs> now I'm getting teared up again. I don't know why I'm so emotional. <laughs> this Christmas, this Christmas has uh, this Christmas has been an emotional one for me. Um, the only thing I can think of is because of what's happening with my mom. And to show you what I have been working on, I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking of renaming this and calling it my peppermint shawl because it looks like little peppermints on the shawl. And this is the color pooling project I've been working on. And it's in a, ba a Christmas bag by Stitching the High Notes. And um, here's the yarn. There's a lot of talking outside. Hopefully you can't hear it, but it has little pops of color in there and it's called color pooling. So um, what you do is when you're working on the pattern, when you get to the part, let's see if I can find it. When you get to the part that has the color, you do the special stitch. But are you ready to see it? It's really pretty. It's this beautiful green and these little pops of, they kind of look like shell stitches, but they look like little peppermints. The pattern says that when you block it out, this will even out and um, the wrap in there will go towards the center and then the, the yarn should lay flat and it'll look like little peppermints. Um, I kind of, sometimes they're clustered too close together, so you just have to uh, not do the pattern. So I have little pops of lines there in the color, which I wish it wasn't like that. I wish it was just the little peppermints all over the green, but it's still pretty. Um, it has this really interesting rolled collar. I'm not sure what I think about that. I guess we'll see when it's blocked and on. And then after you do the rolled collar, if I can find it, the increases happen in the front. So let's see if I can kind of give a vision, visual of what it's going to look like. So there's the rolled collar. And it's going to be little pops of peppermint. 
So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I picked, started knitting without charms. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but I picked this charm. This charm is simply serving. Ooh, can't really see, but it has, it says live simply and it looks like, it looks like wood. It's polymer clay, but it has a wood effect, which is super cool. And then it has little holly leaves and berries on the bottom. And then a little candy cane. I believe this candy cane is from Lock and Lou. So that's a lot of fun. So those are the two charms. I'm going to attach them now. Whoops. Slippery little devils. <laughs> it's so pretty. What I need, what I was hoping, which I thought, oh, I must have one, but I didn't is a little peppermint candy. You know, the little round peppermints? That would be a really cool charm.